And then he also saw that, well, these days is all very nice and very fine, we get a lot of happiness and joy out of these things, but it does not lead to the complete end of suffering. He didn't get that insight, that understanding, that he had made an end of, re of rebirth, of death, of all these problems that he had. So, because of that, he then decided to leave these two teachers and seek uh, in a different place. But before I go on with that, uh, I just want to point out, it's interesting here that the Buddha, which obviously was, had very developed spiritual faculties, uh, was able to see very deeply, uh, all he had to see was that somebody dying and he left the household life, uh, he was humble enough. He didn't have uh, this enormous amount of hubris and just doing his own thing, I'm going to do my own thing and become enlightened all on my own. Uh, in fact, he was humble uh, and he sought out a teacher rather than saying, I'm going to do it all on my own. Uh, as one might do if one had a very large ego. Uh, and again, this is a good example for us in the world, because there are many people out there with deep meditation, with deep understanding, uh, and sometimes it's much better to seek out those other people, uh, try to find out what already exists, uh, and practice that fully. See if there is some wisdom there, something good, uh, before we strike out on our own and try to do things according to our own intentions. Uh, usually, because the world has so many different types of people all over the place uh, and doing all kinds of different things, you can be pretty sure that there's going to be people out there who have much more spiritual insight than we have. Uh, and for that reason, it's important to have that humility, that acceptance, uh, that we are not necessarily the best at everything. Uh. It's okay, you don't have to be best at everything. Uh. It's okay to have a teacher, uh, because this is what the Buddha did. Uh, and if the Buddha-to-be did that, uh, then surely it is good enough for all the rest of us. Uh.